literally filming in front of my door because I'm too shy to because my boyfriend's still here sleeping. But basically today I'm gonna be dyeing my hair back to black. I don't know if you can tell, but my hair was it was red before, but now it kind of just looks brown. But I mean it was fun while it lasted, but now that it's winter autumn time now i kind of just want to go back to black and also i feel like and i keep on just rambling but i prefer black but i'm gonna get my hair done i'm hopefully gonna remember to go to like a k-pop store to pick up a red velvet album i'm a little bit broke but i need i'm gonna buy just one hopefully just one <laughs> but as you can see i already did my makeup just because when I was looking or editing my last vlog i was like oh my, oh my god i'm just so ugly did makeup today it's not focusing I should probably eat. Um, it's like almost 10. I'm probably gonna leave right at 10. This lighting looks like twilight. <laughs> Still no breakfast table, but we hung up the one of this hoodie art. But the weather looks really nice today. My window makes it look like I live in the mountains or something, but I definitely do not. But I can see the mountains. Oh, by the way, I don't know if I said it, but I think I might go for a hime. I tried to do a hime cut last time, but it was more like thin. I think I'm gonna go for blunt. I don't know if it's because this is like Susie's effect, because um, I watched the tuna korean drama and i know everyone's doing that but i don't know i feel like it might be okay for a round face we'll see i'll ask my hairdresser anyways i'm gonna go i need to go but your car is in front of me slight bad mood because my fucking hair took like three hours when it usually doesn't take that long and i'm not even really happy with this cut i shouldn't have done a fuller bang but i don't think it turned out good <laughs> i don't know i'm at koreatown plaza right now i was gonna look for the red velvet album so i'll probably vlog a little bit but i really just want to go home <laughs> I don't know what it is. Maybe it's like so black. It's not even really black. She said it's dark brown, which is what my natural hair color is. Maybe I'm just not used to having black hair anymore. Or something about my makeup maybe is washing me out. Or the cut, I don't know. But I don't know, this is not giving what I thought it would be giving. What the heck? Before I was wearing this, this is a Roman Juicy Lasting Tint in Bare Vine. This is like definitely cool tone. Something is like washing me out, I feel like. Does that wash me out even more? I don't know. I can't tell, something's. Maybe this one's a little bit better. I don't know, we'll see how this is. I did want like an edgier look cause that's what I want to go for. My hair took longer than I thought. So I'm super hungry. I didn't even eat any breakfast. So I'm gonna probably make a snack. Not make a snack. I have this Trader Joe's butternut squash mac and cheese. Thank God. Bro, it was already open. I don't think I opened it, but I mean, it's not open all the way, so it shouldn't be contaminated. Oh my God! I cannot do this with the camera in my hand. I feel like all I've been eating in my vlogs has been mac and cheese, but I swear I don't eat just mac and cheese. I eat other stuff. <laughs> I'm so hungry right now. This is like mukbang style <laughs> again. Pasta is still kind of like uncooked. It's decent. Much better than the 
hot and cheese, hot and cheese, the fuck? Hot Cheetos mac and cheese I got. That literally made my stomach hurt. Eat a little bit, I feel a little bit better now. So I went to Choice, got some um, albums, but the lighting kind of sucks right now and I wanted to film a TikTok instead. So I'll just show you what I got. I got the bag version of the album because apparently this comes with photo cards of all of the members, which is unheard of for SM. Um, SM is usually super stingy with the photo cards, but everything else is just one. The Turkey version, like obviously I would want to get all of them, but I think priority right now is Turkey. And then I got the little the SM Mini or Smini. Smini, they call it Smini. I can just open this one though, since it's, the packaging is like whatever. I don't have to set up this little thing anyways. She looks so good. When I first heard Chill Kill, I was like, it's okay. But now I actually do like it a lot more after re-listening to it a bunch of times. Oh my God. I have like the tendency to always pull Wendy. It's amazing. At least she looks cute. I was literally just telling my sister the other day that like literally all I pull is Wendy. But yeah, I will open up the, uh, the albums probably tomorrow. Maybe once I have better lighting, but I really should be getting back to work. I didn't expect to take this long. This shit always signs me out. Actually, I can't wait any longer, so I think I'm gonna just open them now. Hopefully you guys don't mind this setup. Here's the Wendy photo card if you guys didn't see. Her handwriting is super cute. Now I'm gonna open up this one. The behind the scenes of me filming a TikTok. I love this picture. Actually, her and I, totally unintentional. I was showing a different picture, kind of matching hair. We kind of are matching a little bit. But obviously she looks cuter. It smells like a new book. But that's all the pictures. It's actually a decent photo book. Ugh, I just love these photos so much. And then here's the CD. The CD looks cool. I really want to get one of those like wall-mounted uh, CD players. And then the back one. It's a lot lighter than I thought. Came with all these photo cards. Of course, Sergey always eats when he looks good too. Why does Joy do this? I swear, I... But Yeti looks pretty cute here. I kind of wish I had the other photo card set, but it's whatever. This is still cute, I can't complain. I'm glad that it came with all members. How am I gonna display this bag? But the bag is pretty good quality. It's pretty cute too. Well, let me just sleeve these real quick. I just came back. Not came back. I just did a meeting <laughs> with my supervisor who watches my videos, by the way. So, Tananim, hi. I don't know what that sound is. I think that's my refrigerator, actually. Well, she saw me without my glasses. But she thought I looked like an idol. I was like, girl, don't lie to me. But I think, at least with this hair, glasses look somewhat okay. I don't know. Don't know if the quality is super bad. Here, this is what my these little shelves that are in my bedroom area look like obviously it's not fully done yet but i guess a little sneak peek before i do the apartment tour this is not all finalized i'm not sure if i'm gonna keep it like this this is where i have my red velvet albums i pretty much have everything from like each album that's come out like everything from their discography at least from their korean albums i have not at all collected their Japanese albums and I don't know if I will because they're super expensive. But I have everything um, from here in order. Um, I just put the, the new stuff I got over there. And all this is kind of like their solo stuff, as you can see. And then I have like the La Rouge um, concert book here. I don't know if they're gonna do an R2V one. Yeah, I mean, clearly, as you can see, I barely have any space, but I'm gonna figure it out hopefully by the time that, I don't know, once I, I need to go back to Ikea, get some more storage, and then figure out how I'm gonna do this. 
Maybe I'm gonna use this little shelf here by my desk as display for my Red Velvet albums. The thing is though that like, let me walk to my entryway. This is my entryway hallway. And, like the first thing you see will be this shelf. And I'm kind of just don't really ignore all this. <laughs> I kind of don't want the first thing that people see is like my K-pop shit. <laughs> I mean, I know I have all this stuff here right now. This is not finalized. It's all just temporary as you can see. But yeah, I, I would rather like, you know, all my K-pop cutesy stuff be away and not part of where everyone else can see. If anyone has any suggestions, let me know. <laughs> Mega gulp. I know what they're doing, but when he walked in, it's like, bruh. Look at his primordial pouch. Squish it. Alright, I'm gonna do skincare because I feel like that's the one thing I haven't been showing in my recent vlogs. It's like my nighttime skincare, which has changed quite a bit, I guess. So because my acne got really bad during like the past year. So I've done a lot of things to change it and like kind of like minimize my routine. First, I mean, I need to take off my makeup. I don't, I'm not gonna wash my hair and I don't really want to ruin these bangs. Let's see if I have a clip. First thing I usually do is use this mascara remover. This is the Heroin Make Speedy Mascara Remover just because I always wear waterproof mascara and literally nothing else will remove it, even my regular oil cleanser in. Just having it in this little tube makes it a lot easier. So I kind of just let that soak. Then I go in with the oil cleanser for the rest of my face. So I just go around the rest of my face. Make sure you get your neck. That's my oil cleansing, but I still have to do foam cleanser. But I usually do that in the shower, so I'll probably just do that. I'm gonna show you guys after and then continue my skincare. But let me show you, I had this this morning, but it was flat before, but then now by the end of the day, it turned into a head. Usually I'm 10 feet tempted to pop this, but I'm gonna just try to put a pimple patch on this at the end of the day. My bangs ended up getting wet anyways. And then also when I was washing my face, this little pimple popped. Anyways, I washed my face in the shower and I used the Round Lab Kuto cleanser. As, as you can see, I'm almost out. I use a lot of this and this has lasted me like basically a year. And I have a backup already from the Olive Young 1 plus 1 deals. And for toner, I use the Laneige Cream Skin Sarah Peptide Toner and Moisturizer. If you're familiar with this, this is the new packaging. I kind of don't really like the new packaging because every time I twist off the lid, this inner lid always comes undone and it spills or like leaks. But in terms of the toner, I feel like the new reformulation is a little bit better for oilier skin. But yeah, by the way, I have combination skin. And then for serum, I use the Misha Time Revolution Night Repair Ampule. Honestly, I don't really know if this does anything. I think it's supposed to be like anti-aging or for wrinkles. I'll do like two or three. People think I'm younger than what my actual age is, so maybe, but I don't think it has skincare does anything for it. I just got this during like a Prime Day sales, but I don't know if I would repurchase it. Yeah, by the way, this is my non-retinol nights skincare. So this is pretty much what I do um, for most of the week. Uh, I only do tretinoin or retinol two times a week. So this is my routine pretty much every day, every night. And for eye cream, I use this Skin 104 Madagascar Centella Pro Bio Sika Pacucho Eye Cream. I use this morning and night. This one's cool because it has like this little doe foot applicator. I just put a little bit under my eye and then just pat it in. I also use um, the Sun By Me retinol intense eye cream, but I use this on the my retinol days. Like I can do like a separate video for my retinol, retinoin, <laughs> retinol skincare. Just, I might do like a short form video just for like dedicated skincare routine for that. And then for cream, I just use the Belief True 
cream aqua bomb. This like what I've been using for years. This one's like the only cream that I feel like does anything for me or like doesn't break me out. At least for like something I could use every day. And then for lips, I just go with the Sigma Hydro Melt Lip Mask. I've had this for a long time. I'm still not even done. But yeah, that's my daily, nightly skincare routine. In terms of pimple patches, these ones are the best. This is from Olive Young. This is the Olive Young brand one. They just come with a bunch and they're like really good quality. Not as visible as others, but they stay on better. I don't know what they put in this. Let me just get one. It's pretty good. I will most likely forget that I have that on in the morning. <sighs> yeah, it's like past the midnight right now. This is, I usually sleep earlier than that these days. I will probably go to sleep right now. Anyways, we're back at the apartment. If you want to know what we got at Costco, literally just croissants because I'm trying to recreate that that ham and egg avocado croissant from that brunch place from my last vlog. I also got some flavor beads for the laundry. I think that's all for Costco really. But I got some stuff at the mall while I was waiting for Ryan's dentist appointment. But I'll probably do an un haul later because we're going to go on a little walk right now. No, 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 1.35 miles. I'm gonna recreate this. All those potatoes. Mm -hmm. Tibet interior? <laughs> Look at it. I thought Boston Terrier. Anyways, can you say what you're. <laughs> can you say what you're. I don't know, Pum. You gotta go back to fucking Boston Terrier. Okay, they, everyone knows what a Boston Terrier looks like. <laughs> so then they can visualize. Alright, anyway, say it. I was just saying, my friend's Boston Terrier he always hump people's legs and told me that he let him hump his leg. One time, all the way until he nutted all over his <laughs> leg. You get out of the way. <sighs> well, I have my haul from the mall today. So when I went to Shibuya, got some stationery, just Snoopy ones. I don't even know why I need a gray highlighter, but whatever. Sorry if you hear the AC, I got the Tower 28, what is this, Swipe Serum Concealer. And if you need my shade, it's 2.0 BU, I don't know what that stands for, whatever. I'll do a video trying this Hot Mart stuff, the Skull Panda is mine, and then Devo's is his. I don't know what collection this is, but it's a brand new one. This is what you can get. Honestly, I'm fine with all of them. The one I want the most is probably 
the valley one or this one, the courtyard one. But honestly, all of these are cool. And then this is the Demu letters to letters from Snowman. There's not that many for this one, but they're all pretty cute too. Oh, let's get the card. Ooh. The scene. This is the only red one. There you go. It's like this. That's pretty cool. I like this one. <laughs> Which one do you want? Probably oh, yeah. all of them except the snowman one in the bottom corner. To start from far and then. Everyone except that one, probably. Look at the back. Good. <laughs> but it lights up apparently. Lights Wait, up. then I have to screw it. Oh, shit. oh whoa! It's a Christmas Look tree. That. Oh, shit. <laughs> I wonder if they all light up or something. Only one way to find out. What the? <laughs> so I kind of fell asleep last night, so I didn't really properly close out the vlog. <laughs> so I guess. This will be my little outro for the vlog. Maybe this time I was a slightly more comfortable with talking to the camera, but yeah, like I said, just bear with me please as I work on trying to get back into recording videos. I've been reading everyone's comments from like all the, my recent uploads. So I, everyone's been so sweet and welcoming and it's kind of crazy seeing how a lot of you guys said that you were watching me back in high school and now you're in college and now I'm, that means I'm old. And it's cute that a lot of people have been, uh, you know, keeping up with me for a really long time and, you know, still thinking of me. It warms my heart that people care about me. I'm still very like brainstorming, like where I want to take this channel. I don't know. Like I said, I've, I've not really been, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> I don't know why I'm wearing the hood indoors. Was I even in focus? Anyways, that is it for today's vlog. Thank you guys again for watching this video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.